Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm here with the 2022 Bolt EUV. And the strange thing is, this is on. So let's go ahead and take a further look at it. You've got these fan style 17 inch wheels. You've got your charging port right up here on the front. Turn signals on the mirrors, keyless entry. Really not too bad looking for a small EV SUV. You've got this black, gloss black bezel around the tail lights. Down here is how you open your trunk. Looking back here, you've got a little bit of space. Not too much space. Um, I would say it's probably about two and a half foot deep. Um, and probably about three three foot wide it's decent for a little bit of storage you do have some down here as well so you can kind of just take this out if you want and use that down This Bolt EUV gets 249 miles EPA tested for a full charge. Let's go ahead and jump inside, look at some of the features on this LT. This sticker is at 37,475. This guy's got the convenience package, comfort package, and driver's confidence package. And this is a bright blue metallic, which is an upcharge color. So here, on the inside of this, looking at the standard kind of Chevy door panel here, you've got automatic up down on the front windows, and you've got automatic down manual up on those windows, uh, your mirror controls. Take a look here. You've got your screen here telling you your range, um, charge, miles per hour, all that kind of simple stuff and your breakdowns over here to the left nothing that you don't expect to see instrument panel lighting and automatic lighting very nice leather wrap steering wheel feels good in the hands it doesn't feel too small it feels just about right you got your cruise controls here for collision on this side you get your voice command phone controls and scroll wheel for the gauge cluster got lighting here on the left and on the right, you've got your windshield wiper controls, front and rear. All right, so here we are at the normal home screen. Uh, nothing you wouldn't expect to see out of the Chevy. The exact same screen, it's in everything else. However, this one seems a little bit bigger. Um, overall, just being on this dash. Um, this one is an HD screen, which is awesome. So you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you got your energy usage, you have your all that kind of stuff as far as you have all your details and everything about uh, your usage and all that kind of stuff as well as your charging, which is nice to have in a vehicle like this to be able to see all that kind of analytical stuff. Over here you do have your Wi-Fi hotspot and you do have climate controls through the screen, which I do like. Moving down from here, down below, we do have all your climate controls here. Like I said before, you can use them up in the screen if you choose. Uh, down here, you do have heated, cooled seats and a heated stairwell, which is awesome. Definitely like that. Down here below, we have SD card, USB-C, USB, 12 volt, and you have wireless charging pad down here. Awesome. You have your uh, different modes here, uh, you can turn on sport mode, you have traction control, lane keep assist. Then you have your, basically your shifter, which is now all kind of buttons. You just kind of pull it, if you like it, which still really good quality backup camera as well. Um, neutral push and drive, pull it, which is great. Then you have this feature here, which is nice. It's one pedal driving. I am not, super into it but it's a nice feature nonetheless to have 
looking over here, you have your hazards, glove box, good storage in the doors, and navy leather here that continues throughout, which is definitely different. Up top here, since this is an LT, you kind of just have the base stuff. You have your door lighting, um, overhead lighting, and you do have OnStar and all that kind of stuff. Over here, you got a mirror, no lights on the LT. Let's go ahead and take a look right over here and see if there's anything in the glove box. Okay, so down here you do not have any kind of plugins or anything on this one. Let's take a look here in the back. In the back of this guy, you do have USB C and USB ports back here. Take a seat back here, sitting behind myself. Sitting behind myself, I do have a good amount of headroom still probably about a good two to two and a half inches and I'm six foot two sitting behind myself so it's not too bad overall great looking vehicle very practical and honestly for the price range it's not too bad to have all these kind of features and everything like that whereas some other vehicles like the Tesla's will definitely cost you more in that category. But this guy right here stickers at $37,475. If you guys are interested in this EUV, it is for sale at Jim Tenary Chevrolet in Troy, Missouri. This video is complimentary to them. I appreciate them always letting me come up here and take videos of this stuff. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you guys like what's going on here, hit that subscribe button, and have a great day, guys.